What are we doing again? Charlie's October highlights. Okay. Hi, everyone. Rexy. Rexy. Sorry. Cat, come here. Rexy. You talk about books. I'm just... Okay. I read a lot of different books, so I've just thought I'd bring out four of my October highlights, even though I didn't actually all read these in October. <laughs> <laughs> I totally read all of these in October. First of all, I want to talk about The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas, which is an amazing debut novel. It is basically a sort of fictionalised version of the Black Lives Matter movement. I have heard so much about this book. It's I love it so yeah. much. Can I just keep it here? Like... Yes, I'm just gonna, it's just, it's staying. Yeah. It, it is, as John Green says on the front cover, stunning. <laughs> um, but that is for you to read. So it starts off, and I thought it was a little bit teen-esque, and I thought mm -hmm. it was a bit stereotypical. But then you get right into the action, and then suddenly you are crying and, you know, trying to keep turning pages, and it's just sort of not working. I cry a lot. It is super emotional and so good and basically read it. My next recommendation is Bloodline by Claudia Gray, or Claudia Gray, depending on how oh. you pronounce things. Um, you pronounce it's, it like my name. <laughs> it's a Star Wars novel and it's focused on Leia and it's about her after the war, before The Force Awakens. She's um, the one with the braids. Yes. Like with that a... caused me literal yeah. pain then. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. She's the one she's the one with the braids. Yeah. It's sort of a crime thriller ish. Okay. Political crime thriller, maybe? And I'm not usually a big fan of like novel adaptations of films. Oh, okay. But this one I really enjoyed. So it's a YA book. Mm -hmm. It's basically about how awesome Leia Organa is. Is the book a novelization or is it just sort of tied in with the films? This is a book set between Return Two of films. the Jedi and The Force Awakens. Okay. If you enjoy Princess Leia, General Organa, that's there's a, the same person. Okay. It's just two different names for Spoilers, her. Spoilers, okay. probably. No, not at all. Okay. Literally no one in the world is spoiled for Star Wars except I am. for you. It's a really good book and I would recommend you read it. One of the most enjoyable books I've read recently is a non-fiction book okay. called Feminist Fight Club, an office survival manual. And this is is by a woman named Jessica Bennett. Basically, it sets out, I think there's 12 chapters mm -hmm. or something like that, about how to combat sexism in the modern day workplace. It's a bunch of like anecdotes, ideas of how to deal with things that She's dealt with that. her friends have dealt like, with. I really need um, them. It's Americanized. <laughs> it's quite American centric, mm -hmm. which you know it's American, but it's seriously enjoyable. Also, I, it does make me want to start a feminist fight club. The first rule of feminist fight club is that you have to talk about feminist fight club. I guess you do again. Yeah? Yes. Um, yeah, it sounds really good. I think can I can I, I will be that leaving well? that here Thank as well. You. Thank you. <laughs> Um, These will both go on the bookshelf, right there behind me. Great, knocking everything over. <laughs> this is why I didn't put the tea on the table. <laughs> and the last book I wanted to bring up was is actually a graphic novel. Okay. And I've just introduced my partner Murphy to them. So this is the first of, I think, five have been published now. I've only read the first four. So this is the first? Yes, so this Sorry, is the first Sorry, I was one. totally just looking at my cat. So it's called The Wicked and the Divine, and the premise is, every 90 years, 12 gods return as young people. Mm -hmm. They are loved, they are hated. In two years, they are dead. It's happening now, and it's happening again. So it's uh, about this idea of the pantheon, 12 different gods come back, and it's always 12 different gods, it's not always the same gods. But is it based on the, on the Greek mythology? Or? It's based on a bunch of different mythologies. Okay. So like you have Greek gods, you have Gaelic gods, uh, Irish, I think there's some Hindu gods as well. But I just, <laughs> hi cat, I just really love the artwork in here. So like this is uh, oh, one, one of the okay. pages. So um, it looks quite superhero yeah. in, in the sort of art style. And I'm saying this as someone who doesn't read superhero comics. This is not about really superheroes, although I suppose they are gods with superpowers. I don't know. Well, this is by Image Comics and Image Comics has a very different... Okay, so just briefly, I'm going to do a whole talk on this, but... Main houses of comics production. For superheroes, you're talking Marvel and DC. I've heard of those. Yes, you have, probably from me. Marvel and DC are the two big superhero <laughs> producers. Image Comics 
they are less focused on superheroes and just they're sort of sci-fi fantasy. Okay. The saga comics are by Image. They're good. They're great. They're a sci-fi series. Romeo and Juliet in space, but less depressing. Would you recommend this one for someone who's never read a graphic novel? I think yes. Like me. This is really easy to read. The dialogue is really simple. You can follow it quite easily. And the images are more sort of movie-ish than they are comic-ish. Okay. So I think of graphic novels as the step between written work and movies because it does stills. Basically, I would say read this because it's a really interesting story. Okay. Hand it over. (laughs) And also it's got really beautiful art. Okay. That's one of my favourite things about the Faust Act. Those are my October hot hot hits. Favourites? Top tips. Highlights. Yeah. The <laughs> others one sounded a bit like 80s-ish. A top tip. Are we allowed to say tits on this? Yes. yes. <laughs> if you have any complaints, please direct them to... to me. <laughs> Claudia. No, but those are some of my favourites from okay. recent months. Yeah, I'm taking all of them except the Star Wars one. Uh, somehow I expected you not to read the Star Wars one, but it's so good. Maybe you should watch Star Wars. You wouldn't be the first to suggest that. Listen, I, your husband and I are gonna get you to watch Star Wars at some point. I'm not even sure if he's into Star Wars. Oh my goodness! Honest. Like, I know he's seen them. This is what I have to put up with. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>